What is up, my Stardew Valley peeps? How are we? It is me, John, and we are back with Jeff in Stardew Valley. All right, Jeff. Let's check out the TV. What's a fortune teller? Young man from Stardew Valley. Now you're going to shower us with good fortune. Well, that's good. That means we're going to find a lot of things out there. Clean the source. We already knew that one. Weather report. It's going to rain all day tomorrow, which is good. It means no watering of our crops. Uh, we need you. Hey. So we got some stuff ready to harvest. Now would be a great time to get the watering can upgrade underway. Do my watering and then go and put it in for upgrade. And then tomorrow it's meant to rain all day. So by the end of tomorrow, we should be... Hey doggy, give me your water. Make sure you water your dog every day. Oh, we got a random spud. And the reason that we give the dog water every day is down the track, your grandpa will come and uh, your dog, after a long time of just giving him water and love every day, or your cat for that matter, will um, give you an achievement as well as, I'm pretty sure it gives you one of the purple star fruit things that you eat and your energy goes up. Here, yeah, mate. This is the most tedious part of our day. And it is done. Hello, chicken. Hello, other chicken. Mm, some num num eggs. Do not eat said egg. We should go and send something off for an upgrade, I suppose. Um, we need five of these. So one can go up there. Yep. Have we already done the... Don't want that there. That's the button I was after. Have we already done the crops? All right, we've already done the crops. So, everything else can go for sale. There's our copper bars up here. I suppose we should bloody... John, stop pressing the wrong button. Sorry, I've been playing other games as well lately. And their buttons are different. That's it. We got it. We got there in the end. <clears throat> Excuse me.
Now, have we given anyone gifts? Alright, oh, he's got both his gifts. We have any jobs outstanding to the bottom of the mine is the only job we have outstanding at the current time. Pam's birthday tomorrow. We've got casserole making. He needs oh bream. Bream. It says bream, but it's brim. It's pronounced brim here in Australia. It is a very yummy fish. All right, mate. Upgrade our tools. Hmm. Axe. Axe first. Maybe we should have acted first and asked questions later. Ah, dad joke. I'm allowed. I'm a dad. It's okay. You get a license when you have your first kid. See some wormy squirmies over there. of gold. Okay. Right, I'll go down and see if there's any spring onions. Looks still in spring. I do not think so. I think we're in summer. Oh, uh, because you got all the I think you're still in spring. It's the only problem when you play multiple games, uh, especially games similar, because I love this type of game, is that it comes a point where you get your games confused, your buttons confused for which game uses which buttons to do what, and it's a pain. It is a real pain. Do you have that problem in your games? Leave me a comment. Let me know. Do you do the same thing as me? Accidentally press the wrong button. Forget where you're at in the game. Think you're at somewhere different, but it's a different game you're playing. Today was meant to be a lucky day. We're just not finding that luck. I'd shake that tree. Violently out of anger, shake a tree. Sure, that's a saying. All else fails, shake a tree. Oh. We just found a pot of gold. A pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I have never come across that before. That is just... Is a leprechaun going to come after me for that? That is cool. Have any of you guys ever come across a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow in this game? Um, I have played this game for many years. Use many mods. Best mod by far is the fishing mini game bypass mod. I don't know about you guys, but the fishing mini game does my head in. Oh, does it do my head in? Ow! 
and we go. We got a leprechaun hat. We got a leprechaun hat. We got a leprechaun hat. We got... All right, to be sure, to be sure, to be sure. I'm worried I'm going to get attacked by a damn leprechaun. Come on, John. So not only did we get... You can go inside, hat. Did we get a sum of gold? Like coins, we made money off that. We also then are lucky enough. So maybe that happens on the ultra lucky days. Maybe it's a rare event or something like that. Either way, I'm happy. I am over the moon. By far, best thing that's happened to me today. Wow. I am paranoid now, though, that a leprechaun is going to come for us. I want to get his stuff back. And I'm also wondering whether it's the only one on the map. Have you guys found one elsewhere on the map? Like, on the super lucky days, does it appear in a random spot somewhere around the map? Not just there. Either way, I'm happy. Like, look at the hat. It's, it's awesome. It suits him with his little green shirt and his blue pants. Hard to be sure. He's just a wee pretty boy. Sorry to any Irish people out there that I'm insulting with my very sad thing of an Irish accent. Um, I have recently found out, though, through one of them ancestry DNA tests, uh, my family predominantly come from Scotland. So my whole life we've been... A Scottish family and found out that we've actually got more Irish than Scottish in us. Weird. But hey, it is all good. Let's sleep this off and come back tomorrow for our next day. I suppose bad weather means we're going into the caves. Cauliflower, this is one of the ones in the quality crops. Nope. We may as well get our money. It's 
Let's go get our eggs. I like to talk to my chickens sometimes. And it'd be stupid if you talk to them in English. They don't talk English, so you talk chicken. Somehow, in the depths of my mind, that makes perfect sense. And it's just the way it is. Might do a couple of levels, come out and then go, because we've got to make it to the shop today to get some more seeds. So I don't want to be in here all day. This sword is crap. So much energy just because the sword is crap. Betsy. Chop, chop, chop. It's actually quicker. to eat the carrot. Oh. 
I just want to get down to the elevator. And we can split. Bloody hiding the exit. Because it knows I want to just get there and then leave. So the way down's already been revealed to us. We just didn't know it. Thunder boots, these are better for the cold. Right, I'm going to go to the shop first and then come back up just because the shop shuts a lot earlier than the shop up here shuts. Jojo Mart, he's come to do his thing. Uh, he's just giving out free Jojo shit. We don't want that. Jojo is poop. Yeah, I'm just going to skip past him. Don't worry, Perry. We only buy from you. Let's go back up, see what they've got in the sword department for about 3,000 smackaroonies. Or gold, they, they, they say gold. Still can't believe we're wearing a leprechaun's hat. Funny fact about rainbows though, just for your own knowledge, they actually are a circle if you can see them from above. So there is no actual end to the rainbow. Alright, so we buy the claymore. Uh, we sell the mallet. Hell leather boots. 
sell the small sword. We still end up with some cash. How are we going on these? I'm gonna have to go back for cave insects. All right, all I'm gonna do is walk home and plant stuff and unload stuff, I suppose. But if you did enjoy this episode, please remember to subscribe and give us a big thumbs up. It really helps with the algorithm. Leave a comment, that helps as well, okay? Trying to get out there. So, if you did enjoy, please do the like and subscribe. Share, tell a friend, tell your mum, tell your dad. But most of all, as always, don't forget, tell your nan. She bloody loves it. All right, my beautiful people. We will see you in the very next episode. Bye. Shake it like a baby. Come on, and dance with me. Come on. Shake it like a baby. Come on, and dance with me.